This week's word of the week is going to be uh, CWI. What does CWI stand for? Certified Welding Inspector. Um, cert CWI is a very common term used in the welding industry. Anytime you're talking about welder certifications or inspections, they're going to call for a CWI. A lot of people have advanced their careers from you know maybe burning rod or wire or whatever you're doing. Uh, you get sick of that, or maybe your eyes are going, you want to advance a little bit, so they become CWIs. Um, you really need to know what a certified welding inspector is. It's very important. But we're going to talk about how do you become a certified welding inspector. Um, it's certified through the AWS, which is the American Welding Society. If you don't know that, that's trouble. We may have to do a word of the week on that. But um, there's three parts to the CWI exam. Part A, Part B, and Part C. They're all timed, so you have two hours on each part of this um, test. Part A is 150 questions on welding fundamentals. You have to get at least a 72% on this in order to pass that part. So it's just general welding uh, knowledge that they're looking for. Uh, they want to know that you know a lot about welding. After you take uh, Part A, the fundamentals here, you go to Part B, which is a practical section. What they do is they give you a little briefcase full of plastic weld specimens and they're going to ask you 46 questions on these little plastic weld uh, specimens, whether they're correct in, uh, will they pass, will they not pass, things like that. Again, you have to have 72% on that. Typical things that are in here, they can, you can use a caliper, things like that, maybe they'll get porosity, you measure the porosity holes and see if it's acceptable or not. Uh, a lot of people have been recently having trouble with this Part B. Um, after you've done the Part B, you're going to go to Part C, and it doesn't have to be in this order. They kind of jumble up A, B, and C, and they'll do different groups at the same time when they give you the test. So they don't necessarily go in order, but um, Part C, this is a code section, and there, there's two different code books that you can pick from, either the API 1104 or the AWS P1.1. A lot of people pick the API 1104 because it's a thinner book. That doesn't mean that it's the one to go with. If you know API 1104, for sure, go with that. If you know the AWS D1.1, for sure, go with that. But uh, the, the benefit of the D1.1 is it's got an index. That's the main benefit. So if you have no idea what they're talking about, you can at least go to the index and try and get some start to find um, the answers. I didn't mention it was open book either, by the way, but it's open book. So you, you can use these books. They want you to use the books and find stuff really quickly. Uh, AWS D1.1 is thick. It's probably, I don't know, two, two and a half inches thick. And people get um, shook by that because they see the API, which is much thinner, and they think, well, I can thumb through the API faster. But again, AWS D1.1 has an index. The other thing is, it's got a bunch of annexes in the back. So you only use half the D1.1. Yeah, the second half is all annexes that you don't use. So if, if you don't know either one of these, I would use the D1.1 because it has an index, and again, you don't use the whole book. Um, again, this is 46 questions, just like over here, 72% to pass it. Um, once you get all three of these done, you get your score back, and we'll give you a breakdown on the, on the sheet they send you. Um, if you get a total score of 72%, and you have failed one of these three parts, you can retest only in one of these three parts, which is kind of nice. They didn't used to do that, so uh, you don't have to take all three of these again. So again, two hours for each one of these for six hours total. Uh, once you're done with that, you, you pass and you become a certified welding inspector. CWI is the people that write your welding procedures, uh, uh, PQRs, welder qualification test records, um, basically certified people. Uh, inspect parts maybe, it all depends on where you go. But you definitely need to know what a CWI is if you're in the welding industry for sure. So um, I guess that's all I got for you today. So thanks for watching and subscribing to TV Weld, and we'll see you next time.